Mets look for their fifth straight win. Christian Scott, last start, 77 pitches, five and two thirds innings against the Bucks, only allowed a couple of runs. Swing and a miss, and Scott strikes out Blackman to start the game. But here's Tovar, two for five last night, and a swing and a miss, and Scott's will have back to back strikeouts to start his night. Oh, here is Ryan McMahon. Pops this one up on the infield. Vientos hurries in right near the bag, and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three for Christian Scott with a couple of strikeouts. No score. Ryan Feltner is on the mound for the Rockies today. Just nice to see him back and pitching. One two curveball and a dandy to get the strike out of Lindor. One up one down. And it'll bring up the number two hitter the red hot Brandon Nimmo. Here's the one two and it was a slider. So you saw both breaking pitches produce a strikeout. Now with two out nobody on J.D. Martinez will be the better. What a curveball there. What a start for Feltner. One out. And now the raging hot Brenton Doyle in the month of July. He's had 37 at bats and hit seven home runs. Now this is slowly hit to short on the move Lindor safe. A leg hit for Doyle. Slight and I mean ever so slight bobble by Lindor. But it shows you the speed of Brenton. So he's at first a steal threat for the Rockies and here is now Brendan Rodgers. And there goes Doyle first pitch to Renz with a perfect throw and he got him. You cannot run on Luis Torrens. He's now thrown out eight out of 11 potential base stealers. There are occasions when the catcher makes up the play. Nice tag by McNeil here on Doyle because he got a great jump. And whenever runners get a great jump in today's game, they're safe 99% of the time. But now with Luis. I mean, teams are stealing at an 80% rate, and Terenz is throwing them out at an 80% rate. Alonzo into foul ground catches Rogers pop up. He Alonzo lays off the home second for New York. And that's pulled to the left field to base hit. Alonzo is the first Met base runner of the day. A leadoff single in the second. So the two left-handed bats have worked out walks in this inning. Stewart and Gallo. And the Mets have the bases loaded for Luis Torrens. And Torrens shoots one to second base. Rogers bobbles it. And then throws it away. Alonzo is in. Here comes Stewart. On the third goes Gallo. And Torrens pulls it in second. A double play ball. Rogers first bobbled it and then threw it away, and the Mets get two runs and lead two nothing. Well, this is a play you're not going to see very often. Uh, Brendan Rogers is a Gold Glover. He's a good defensive player and just messes this play up. No other explanation. Two runs in, runners on second and third. The infield comes in for McNeil. That's driven out toward the gap in the right center field by McNeil, and that ball's going to go back to the wall. Two more runs will score. Gavin is in. Torres right behind him. Jeff McNeil with a two-run double, and it's 4 nothing New York. The Mets continue to pile on every mistake the opposition makes and make them pay dearly. Well, it's nice to see the McNeil's swing here from the side, right on time. A little breaking ball just sat right in the middle of the plate, and he took advantage of it. Just a bullet to right center. That's the third walk of the inning for Feldner. Brandon Nimmo coming up. 2-2. And it was held by nice. Diaz. So that's out number two. Not out of the woods by any stretch. Here comes J.D. Martinez. And a ground ball to third. The inning comes to an end. But four runs scored by the Mets in the bottom of the second. Jake Cable lead it off. And this ball's well hit to left toward that corner. And it is gone, I believe. Yeah, yeah that's a home run. That's an opposite field home run. Third base umpire Jeremy Rehack is twirling his finger. The universal sign for a homer. So that is the second for Jake Cave. And it's four to one. Well, it took a minute to see where that hit. It's above that orange line. So that's why it took Jeremy a second to determine was that a home run? Was it not? And the Mets have two men on for JD. Let's see if Bud Black is inclined to go to his bullpen, and looks like he will. Two outs, two on, and Justin Lawrence has been summoned to get JD Martinez out. On the ground to Mac, tough hop. He handles it, gets rid of it quickly, throws out Martinez. So two left on it. So one away, and the number nine hitter, Sam Hilliard, will be the batter. And Sam lines this to right. 
base hit for Hilliard. And Hilliard is two for two. He's got a one out single. And back to the top of the batting order and Charlie Blackman. And this ball's hammered to deep right. Did Charlie get another? You bet. The Rockies with it a run. Two run shot for Blackman. One on Friday night and a two run shot late Saturday afternoon. That's what you do on a 2 0 pitch. You get the barrel out and you hit it 420 feet. And now the Rockies have two men on. And here comes Carlos Mendoza, and that's going to be all for Christian Scott. Jose Buto comes on for the Mets, trying to protect a one run lead in the fifth inning. Luis Diaz, first and second, one out. Rockies trail by a run. Hit on the ground down to first, handled by Alonzo, gets the out at second. Lindor with the pitch recovery, gets it there in time. Side retired. Well, Jose Buto has made the decision making easy for Carlos Mendoza. He pulled Christian Scott after four and a third, and Buto's been perfect ever since. Ezekiel Tovar, a double and three tries, leads it off. Yep, in the shadow, and that works nicely. A poke single to center off the bat of Tovar. So another two hit ball game for Ezekiel. And the tying run is aboard with McMahon coming up. Ball four. So now the Rockies have the tying and go ahead runs on base. Elias Diaz coming up. And Carlos Mendoza on his way out to the mound. He's got Nunez ready in the bullpen. Ground ball, a chance for two. McNeil hurries in. Lindor back to first. Double play. Second time in a row a Met reliever has come in the game to face Elias Diaz and gotten the ground ball double play two out. So now the tying run is a third with two out and Brenton Doyle the batter Doyle by far the hottest hitter in the Rockies lineup and Doyle pops one up Alonzo retreats plenty of room side retire Nunez comes in faces two batters gets three outs. Keeps the Mets in the lead. Two on, one out. Uh, here is McNeil who drove in two big runs in the second inning. And that bounces away from Diaz and that'll move the runners up to second and third. 3-2. And this is popped up. This is even better. better. Foul ground. There is the second out. So McNeil can't get the run in and it's left to Lindor. And Lindor skies one to center. Pretty well hit. Back goes Doyle to the warning track at the wall. Francisco Lindor with a straightaway three run homer. They pitch to Lindor with first base open, and Lindor crushes one. His 17th home run, and the Mets have a 7 to 3 lead in the eighth. What a clutch that bat by number 12. Is there anything more that these two can do to show? that they belong in the All Star game. This is the 21st game of Daniel Nunez's remarkable age 28 rookie season. And now he's trying to reach another milestone looking for his first major league save. And so the Rockies are down to their final out with Michael Tolia. He struck him out and the ball game is over. Daniel Nunez strikes out the side of the ninth. He earns his first major league save and the Mets win their fifth straight as they beat the Rockies seven to three.